Real hot girl shit My name is Ari Kari and I have an exciting video for y'all. It's dark over here. I'm going to move. So basically, I want to do something a little bit different. So I have some free time before I start looking for a new job because as y'all know, I quit my previous job because I got an opportunity. So because of that, I don't have a job. <laughs> It's giving unemployed. It's giving we don't know where our rent money's coming in. I love that. Um, but no, I saved up enough to have rent for like the next two months. So that way, you know, I at least can afford, you know, to pay my bills for the next two months while I figure out what the fuck I'm going to do. So while we're here, by the way, my name is Ari Carr. If you've never seen me before. Hi. Hey, friend. Um, welcome to the channel. You might as well subscribe like you clicked on it. I feel like we're friends subscribe i'm going to become an instagram girl <laughs> she belongs to the streets huh. even saying it it sounds crazy um i want to be instagram famous because the instagram girls be getting sponsorships and they be getting big money and they be getting opportunity that also come with big money <laughs> so we're going to become an instagram girl i'm not rich and i feel like usually the instagram girls have like a louis bag somewhere um i have michael kors <laughs> um but basically what we're going to do we're going to do this in stages so first things first i'm going to buy a tripod with a bluetooth remote because how am i going to be an instagram girl if i can't take my pictures and i love my friends but i feel awkward taking pictures anyway so i don't want to like force my friends to come over to take my pictures for me if i'm just gonna be as awkward if not more and then make them uncomfortable and annoyed because i made them drive all the way over here to not take good pictures i'm gonna get like spicy lingerie because i noticed the instagram girls usually have like something scantily clad or like a really really nice outfit i'm gonna like look up instagram girls and see like the makeup that they usually do and try to mimic that um of course hair will be on we're gonna be wigged and dangerous we're just it's literally a transformation to take pictures on the internet because I want to be an Instagram girl. I want to be an Instagram girl and I'm determined. So that's what we're going to do. So my tripod is coming on Friday. Um, I'm going to have you guys come with me. I'm going to go to like rainbow to get my, you know, scantily clad like bra and panties because I'm not rich. <laughs> I can't afford to be buying Savage X Fenty and Victoria's Secret and all that. Girl, this is just for a photo. Um, and I might get some accessories too. Again, we're going to get ready, do our hair, makeup, everything. And then I'm going to set you guys down while I try to take the pictures. We're going to try to get our lighting together. I have a ring light, so I feel like that's appropriate. Um, and hopefully, by the end of this video, we have a bomb-ass picture. So, this is me checking in with y'all. Starting off, I look ugly. <laughs> unemployed <laughs> giving musty and gross but like by the end of this video we should be a bad bitch an instagram girl and getting big moolah so let's let's hit it let's hit the motherfucking jackpot bitch okay big lotto all right y'all so i watched Aaliyah's face's video because Aaliyah's face did a video a while ago on how she takes her instagram pictures here she is taking her own pictures and like Post just showing for us me, but i'm just <sighs> I'm gonna work on it, but I don't know. Anyway, so they'll be up soon. See so these are the pictures that she took by herself. So that's this is the vibe we're going for. Again, Instagram thickums but classy that's the vibe we're going for i already added to my cart so this is the tripod that she uses with the bluetooth remote it is only what is it 20 dollars or something 21 dollars, and i'm gonna add it to cart so i should be receiving this by friday i'm gonna try to look up like sexy poses to Ooh. That's what we will do tomorrow as well. We're gonna get our bra tomorrow and look up sexy poses. We're getting this guy. I'm gonna be an Instagram girl. Fuck is you saying? Might be unemployed now, but not for long. <laughs> Which bra should I get y'all? So we have this pink one and it's a push up, but the problem is like, I don't know the color. I feel like it's a bit much. 
But then I don't really want something like basic and black. So I'm not sure. Walmart don't have that much um, options. I'm at Walmart instead of Rainbow. Because Rainbow, the one I went to, didn't have no bras. <sighs> what should we do, y'all? Ooh, but they do have like, you know, if you need bras, they do have some nice bras. But their panties is nice. But if I get the pink ones, what panties is going to match them that are thongs? You feel me? Mm, 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 mm. Y'all see my dilemma. This is hard. So I don't know. I'm going to either go with that bright pink one that I showed y'all right here. Either go with this one or I think these are nice. But... The problem is that, like, I like the pattern. I think it's very classy. But the problem is it has no padding and no bone. So it's not going to lift anything unless I, like, put tissue in my boobs to try to, like, lift it up or use tape. So I don't really know what I can do. These are nice, too. But these are kind of boring. So. And then they just have, like, t-shirt bras. So I don't know. I don't know how these Instagram girls be getting these bras without spending a whole bunch of money. Unless they be spending a whole bunch of money and, and then I'm just talking shit. If so, I apologize. So we'll see. But these are the options that they have at Walmart. Again, becoming a baddie with no money on a budget. <laughs> Broke as fuck. Even though I like these. It's just... these. This is actually really nice. I might get this one. We'll see. Hey, y'all. So I am back in the house. So... <coughs> dying um for this instagram picture so i ended up settling on the pink bra which is what i showed y'all at walmart it was only seven dollars so again we balling out on a budget so it's this pink bra and it has the green detailing and then i found some panties to wear with it because you know we being scandalous um because that's what these girls be doing <laughs> and it's pink as well with green detailing. Now it's just time to take the pictures and choose our poses. All right, so here is where we are going to take the picture. I'm going to lay here. Um, I finally got my stand. So I'm actually gonna do some TikToks first, or maybe I'll take the picture first, I'm not sure. But it does have a Bluetooth remote, which I already charged. So I will take that remote out. So now I'm going to shave myself really well, take a shower, do my makeup, do my hair. I'm just gonna put this all in like a montage, I guess. And then we're gonna take our picture. I'm like excited and nervous, cause you know, I don't really know what I'm doing. Ooh, but I did find a Instagram model that I really like. I've been following her for a while and I figured if I'm gonna copy anyone's poses, she is like the queen of poses. So I feel like she can kind of help us. Her name is Ivette. Um, if y'all aren't following Miss Ivette, you should. Cause let me tell you something, mama be serving looks every time. Like she just serves and it is what it is. So her name is Ivette Cancino. And let me just turn y'all around so y'all can see her. This is her page. She's a YouTuber as well. Um, but this is her page. I don't know why she's not at a million because her pictures be fire. But the one specifically that we are channeling for today, she gives sexy, which is what I like. I kind of, I don't really want to be a fashion girl. I want to be like, she's hot. <laughs> More so than like, oh, her, her outfits are cute. Like, I don't know. So here is the picture that I really like of hers. And what we are going to be doing is copying these poses. And of course, like shout out to Idet. I'm gonna tag her. Hopefully, maybe she'll see it if I tag her. But either way, I love you, girl. So we're gonna copy these poses, especially this is my favorite. So we're gonna try to do this laying on my floor. But you see how it's like the wooden floor and then the like the white background. That's why I specifically picked that place in my bathroom. So we are going to attempt to do these poses and then we will see how it goes. But yeah, follow your girl, Idet, okay? Idet be giving, listen, I hope I'm not mispronouncing her name, but like when I tell you she gives it every time and it's, it's just like she gives body, she gives face, like she just gives it every time. So definitely follow her, but that's who we are channeling today. All right, y'all. 
All right, y'all, we are all makeup and hair ready. So it is photo shoot time. So I'm wearing, of course, the pink bra and I'm about to change into the underwears and I'm going to start doing poses. Here is my setup. So I have ah, my ring light and my phone and I already charged the Bluetooth camera. So I'm all ready for that. And let's go ahead and get started. Let me angle you guys, cause I'm gonna be on the floor. So I guess I can angle you here. Here is a po some poses I'm going to be trying. I'm gonna try this one first and we'll see how that goes. Oh, real hot girl shit. Real hot girl shit. You buy it, baby. Can't get enough of your body. No, I can't get enough of your body. You're my body. All I want is your body. On top of mine. Your body on top of mine. It is the next day. We took our pictures yesterday. I also did some TikToks. Here are the pictures I decided on. This one right here. I don't know if it'll focus, but it shows half of my face and then my body as I'm laying down. And then this picture right here, which shows me looking to the side and you can kind of see my bra. I also took this one too that I kind of like. And I kind of want to add this in there as well. But definitely this picture and this picture, fire. So now what we're going to do is edit these photos. So let me turn my screen recorder on. And of course my phone is on 18% because why would it be charged? <laughs> so what we are going to do first is I'm going to edit, I already edited this picture and it's just because um, I wanted to like put a preview on my Instagram. So I already edited that picture. So now we're gonna open photo and we're gonna open up this picture right here, which is the one with me laying down. And first what I'm gonna do is whiten up my toes because they're white, but they could be whiter. So, and there's the difference. Whiten up this toe. And because it's more blurry, you can kind of go a bit hard. I know people say like, you just tap. Tap, tap, tap. I'm not tapping. Um, so I went ahead and whitened up my toes. Now I'm going to hit the details and detail my bra a little bit make the color really pop um also going to detail my undies a little bit make that pop out just a little bit more so you see now it's like the color is really jumping out at you so I did that. I'm also going to detail my lips because I think my lips look really good. So I'm going to just detail like the more highlighted points. So any of like the lighter areas, I'm going to tap in those areas as well. Make them look extra juicy and I'll detail my toes too because, you know, why not? They do look very crisp. So, okay, now that we have that detailed, I'm not gonna edit my body. That's one thing I have gone out of my way to not do because I notice when I edit my body, I start to feel, I feel, dysphoria is probably not a good word, but it's just like, I start to feel insecure because I don't look like how I look in my pictures. So does that make sense? So I purposefully go out of my way to not edit my body because I wanna look as realistic as possible because this is how I really look in real life. So 
I do not edit my body. I used to, and that's just me being honest. I used to, but I'm not editing that anymore. Now what we're gonna do is smooth. I'm gonna smooth my legs a little bit. Especially like you can see from my shaving because I just like quickly shaved my legs. So there they look a little rough. I'm also going to smooth my chest a little bit like the, the collarbone area just because it looks again just a little rough just a tad bit I'm not overdoing it and then what else do I want to do because it looks like that's probably it I was I'm trying not to use the blur because I feel like when you blur that's when it starts to look a little too fake because obviously you can see that it's been edited versus this is the before and this is the after it's very very subtle which is what we want so yeah, I don't really think there's anything else that I need to do to this photo. So I'm going to go ahead and save to camera roll. Now we are going to open up and you see there it is saved. I'm going to open this picture up, which this one, um, this is going to be very quick because all I like to do with my pictures of my face is just smooth my under eyes because they always, I don't know, I just like to smooth my under eyes and like my forehead. Um, because I already have a filter on, I don't really need to do any edits to like my makeup or anything because all of that I feel looks good. It's just smoothing out my skin. So, and I'm going to go ahead and put the details on and just detail my lips a little bit, make them look extra juicy. And then I'm gonna bring that down just a little bit because it's already kind of bright. So here is how it's looking now, which I like. And then I'm gonna go with the white and just whiten up my teeth a little bit. So now my teeth look white before yellow white and now last thing that I'm gonna do I am gonna use the blur here because with the background you can't tell that it's blurred so I'll, you wouldn't know so that's why I'm gonna go ahead and blur the background and of course now my camera is about to die because you know y'all know I need to buy a battery life extender and I keep putting it off so I'm literally just using the blur and just going in the background which just makes me stand out more even though like I said it's plain white so you wouldn't know the difference which is why I, that's purposefully why I do it so now this is done I'm gonna leave I know my eyes I have like discoloration I'm gonna leave that because that's what I feel like makes it look more realistic. I also have a little bit of texture in between my boobs. I'm going to leave that too. Because again, I still want it to look as realistic as possible. So here's the before. Here's the after. You see why I do my under eyes? It looks so much better. So now we have our pictures edited. And the last thing that we have to do is to post these. So today is Sunday. I'm going to post these at 8 p.m. today because I feel like that's late enough that because people be on their phone late at night, but it's early enough that it's not like people are asleep. So 8 p.m. we're going to post these. My caption that I had picked originally was like the I had to get out of my feelings because there's no money in there. I'm either going to do that or I might do like um, what's it called? the intimacy isn't real um, the love isn't real when the intimacy is <laughs> is given to other women you know whatever sweetie has said when she broke up with that nigga okay i love sweetie she said oh you gonna cheat on me you gonna cheat on me i'm out and i'm the baddest bitch so you know i'm gonna find me a new man i love that for her like i have never really like stand sweetie before i stand her now because <laughs> baby she said oh you gonna cheat on me cool I'm out just so you know <laughs> um so we'll decide but I think I'm gonna stick with the original caption which was I had to get out of my feelings because there's no money in there but like I said I might do like the trendy thing because sweetie and Quavo just broke up so this is me editing the video I did end up going with sweetie's 
famous saying now, the love is not real when the intimacy is given to other women. Take care. An amazing caption. Girl, we love you. Amazing. Chef's kiss. I might do the trendy thing and be like, mm, the love isn't real when the intimacy is given to other women. Um, but that's basically what we are going to do. So all that's left is just to post and then we'll see if we get like comments and stuff. But let me know what y'all thought of this video of me like, you know, doing my little Instagram thing. And let me know what you thought of this concept. If you like it, maybe I can do it again. But instead of doing like lingerie photos, maybe it'll be like with a fashion picture. If you'd like to see like from start to finish of trying to create Instagram content. My goal, I'd like to be at 10K Instagram followers by the end of this year, which I don't think is too unrealistic. I'm at 2000, but I think if I keep working at it and I keep working hard, I should be able to get to 10K by the end of this year. But that is definitely my goal. I think that's something Something that's you know I think that's reasonable but we'll see I love y'all so much thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe let me know what you thought of this content and if you'd like more videos like these and I'll see you in my next one hey Fran I love you I missed you Fran it's been a minute but we back with the get back and I'll see y'all in my next video bye